All of the elements that you add to your Revit projects, whether they are walls, roofs, doors, structural members, mechanical equipment, or plumbing fixtures, or even annotation elements such as elevation symbols, door tags, and column grid lines, are organized into families. A family is simply a collection of elements with identical use, common parameters, and similar geometry. For example, although you may have different sizes of desks, all the sizes can belong to a desk family. If you look in the project browser, you can see that there is a branch called Families. Families in Revit are divided into categories, such as annotation symbols, ceilings, columns, doors, windows, and so on. When you expand the Families branch in the project browser, you can see these categories. Categories cannot be created or deleted and are important in determining the visibility of elements. Each family in Revit belongs to one of these predefined categories. There can be many families within a given category. For example, if you expand the Doors category, you can see several door families, such as Double Flush and Single Flush. Each represents a specific kind of door with unique characteristics. If you expand the Furniture category, you can see several kinds of furniture, such as desks and chairs. Each is a unique family. Families are further divided into types. For example, if you expand the Single Flush Door family, you can see a number of different sizes. If you expand the Desk family, you can see several different sizes. Each size is a family type or type and has type properties that give it its specific size. Types do not have to vary just in size. There can be other parameters that vary from type to type. Family types can be created or deleted as needed within a project. When you place an element into your Revit model, you create an instance of that element so you could place 20 different 36 inch by 84 inch single flush doors in your Revit model and each would be an instance of that specific type of door. Each instance would have its own unique instance properties but each would share the same identical type properties. So if you were to change the instance properties of a particular door such as its sill height only that one instance of the door would be affected. But if you were to change one of its type properties, such as the width of the door, every instance of that door would immediately change. There are three classes of families within Revit. System families, loadable families, and in-place families. System families form the basic building elements such as walls, floors, roofs, ceilings, and other elements that you would assemble on a construction site. System families are defined within the Revit project file, not in an external family file. You cannot create or delete system families. However, you can create multiple family types in a system family. These types are relatively easy to create and can be copied to other project files. For example, if you create a custom wall, that family will only exist in the Revit project file in which it was created. But you can easily create a project template or transfer the wall type to another project. Loadable families are families used to create building components such as doors, windows, furniture, and plumbing fixtures that would typically be purchased, delivered, and installed in and around a building. Most annotation elements are also provided as loadable families. Loadable families are created in external .rfa files 
and are imported or loaded into your projects. Loadable families are created in Revit's Family Editor, beginning from a specific template supplied with Revit that contains information about that specific family. Revit comes with a library of loadable families. You can also download ready-made family files from various sources on the web, including many building component manufacturers' websites. Or you can create your own custom components using the tools in the Revit Family Editor. In-place families are unique elements that you create when you need some sort of unique component that is specific to your current project. When you create an in-place element, Revit creates a new family for the in-place element within the current project. You can place multiple instances of in-place elements and reuse them in other projects, but you cannot create multiple types of an in-place element. Many of the same tools from the family editor are used to create in-place families.